Welcome to the Intrepid Group Device Care training video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Device Care. Device Care is a software provided by Anderson Hauser that will allow you to connect to and configure any of their products. It's provided for free from the website. You just need to register, log in, and download the software. I'll show you how to do that now. First thing you're going to need to do is navigate to ca.enderist.com and you'll see this page pop up. In the top right corner, there's a login button. Click on that and it will take you to the login screen. If you have an account, enter your user ID or email address, hit next and log in. If not, you're going to have to create a new account. Click on the create my Anderson Hoser account below the next button and you're going to fill out that form uh, with as much detail as possible and create your account. Once you've logged in, navigate to the search bar, type in SFE 100. This will pull up the uh, results for device care. Click on device care and that's going to take you to another page. Uh, underneath Device Care SFE 100, you can click on Download and Software Portal. Once the software portal is opened up, you'll see all the available um, application packages on at the bottom of the screen. What you're going to do is go and open up each one of those, such as Device Care and DTM Libraries, and you're going to need to check the boxes of the software that you want to download. Once you've done that, you're going to hit Request Download, and they're going to send you an email with a link that's going to allow you to download those files. Once you click the link in the email, uh, the software portal is going to pop up again, and it's going to give you the list of software files to download from the request. You'll notice that Device Care and the COM DTM library are single executable files. Uh, just download those. Uh, take note that the DTM device DTM library is actually four separate files but it's actually one split archive. So you have to download each one of those parts and then you just run the part one file. It'll extract all the files out of the other three and you don't have to do it for each individual file. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to run is DC setup. That's going to install device care. Just double click on that file and it will start the setup process. First thing that's gonna pop up is the end user license agreement. Just hit agree and hit next. Choose your path, hit next and then it's going to start the installation. Uh, it'll run for a little bit, maybe install some other libraries from Microsoft, and once it's done, you'll get to the um, Device Care SFE 100 installed successfully. After that, you can just hit the X in the corner. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to install is the ENH Com DTM library. This is going to enable you to install the different communication protocols, such as the uh, IPC or CDI protocols. Just double click on that, Extractor will come up, hit next. It'll start the extraction process. Once the extraction is done, hit next. The installer is gonna come up and then it's gonna start, uh, it's gonna go show you the communication DTM packages that are available. Now what I do here is I click on start on the top left, go service protocol, click in there, install each one separately and you're going to have to install each one of these packages one at a time until you get all the way through it. Now maybe you don't need Profibus or maybe you don't need Modbus. Um, that's up to you. What I do is I just install everything the first time and then I don't have to worry about it anymore. The last step of this process is to install the device DTM library. Uh, like I said earlier all you have to do is double click on part one file. That will bring up the extractor. Uh, you run the extractor and once the extraction is done, it's actually going to extract those files into the folder that you had in the destination. Uh, what you'll see here is all the files that have been extracted, but it will automatically run the installer once it's completed. And just like the COM DTM library, you'll see here that there's a bunch of different packages available in this. We're going to have DTM library, which I think includes all the DTMs, or you can selectively choose heart or uh, heart generic or Profibus. Uh, it's up to you if you just want to install one or the other or what I would do is just go to the DTM library and install everything all at once. Like once again that way you don't have to worry about it later. Now that you have device care installed we're going to want to open it up. Go to your start menu, open device care, device care should open. Now that it's open the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that our DTM catalog is updated. Click on the hamburger icon on the top right corner this will open up the DTM catalog and in the bottom left corner it will show you the total DTMs that have been installed depending on if it updated when you opened it or how many DTMs that you've installed out of the packages. My number of DTMs here is 318. I've seen as high as 6 or 800. Um, in either case what you're going to want to do is hit the refresh button in the bottom right corner. This will update your DTM catalog. Uh, once you hit that refresh button it'll say here DTM catalog refresh is running. Uh, depending on how many DTMs you have this might take a few minutes. Once it's done it'll say the 
DTM catalog has been applied. And you should see here in the bottom left a new number uh, for total DTMs installed. Now you can hit the back or home button and that will take you back to the main screen and you are ready to use device care.